Hi friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. It's time to talk about how to transfer an issue between iPhones in iOS 16. One of the most notable iOS 16 features that have gone a bit under the radar is the ability to transfer an issue between iPhones in iOS 16 via Bluetooth. The older versions of iOS allowed you to transfer an issue between iOS devices. You had to rely on Wi-Fi and other methods which were quite tedious, but that is no longer the case thanks to the use of Bluetooth which makes the entire process a pretty straightforward affair. That having said, it's time to learn how to transfer an issue between iPhones in iOS 16 or later. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. First and foremost, I would recommend you to check out the requirements for transferring eSIM between iPhones. To transfer a phone number from one iPhone to another, there are five essential requirements that you must fulfill up front. Do know that your iPhone must be protected with a passcode. If you are yet to enable passcode, head over to the settings app, face ID, touch ID and passcode section and then hit turn on passcode and then do the needful. Then ensure that your iPhone is near. Also make sure your iPhone is unlocked. And after that be sure you have Bluetooth enabled on your device. Head into the settings app and then tap Bluetooth and ensure that it is enabled. Alternately, bring up the control center on your iPhone and hit the Bluetooth icon to turn it on. As already outlined above, make sure your iPhone is running iOS 16 or later. Once you have taken care of all the essential requirements, open the settings app on your iPhone and then tap on cellular or mobile data. Right above the cellular data section, tap the setup eSIM or add eSIM option. If fast, make sure to tap the transfer from another iPhone button. Now you should see a message saying to transfer a phone number from another iPhone. Make sure your iPhone is passcode protected, nearby, unlocked and has Bluetooth turned on and is running iOS 16 or later. Now you have to double check these requirements and follow the prompts to complete the whole process. That's pretty much done. So that's how you can quickly transfer an issue between iPhones in iOS 16 or later. That's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time.